What do galvanized pipe fittings, a freshly painted bumper, and a strawberry cream cake have in common? To make these products, manufacturers in a variety of sectors rely on solar power. The sun provides the necessary warmth for tanks used in electroplating, for the drying chamber in a paint shop, and for rinse water in an industrial bakery. And these technologies receive generous government subsidies. At Gebrüder Hack Feinbachwaren in the western German village of Kurtscheid, more than 60 employees produced baked goods. Everything from muffins sold at gas stations to frozen layer cakes available at supermarkets. The trend is clear. People are buying fewer traditional German pastries and more birthday cakes for kids and desserts for singles dinner parties. But no matter if it's classic or trendy cakes that are coming off the 18-meter-long assembly line, they all need plenty of cream, more than four tons of it a day. And cream contains a lot of fat and sugar. To meet regulations, we have to clean our production facilities and dispose of any remaining grease. That requires large amounts of energy and industrial water. For one hour of cleaning the assembly line, the company needs 7,000 liters of water heated to 65 degrees Celsius. Since April 2014, solar panels have provided a substantial part of the needed energy. A solar collector surface measuring nearly 100 square meters is installed on the south side of the bakery. The more than 600 glass tubes contain vacuums in which dark copper pipes conduct heat. They transfer their energy through an absorber to a fluid mixture of antifreeze and water. When the sun shines, the medium warms up to more than 70 degrees Celsius. The heat flows through two heat exchangers into a storage unit that provides water for cleaning. If a heat detector measures temperatures above 75 degrees Celsius, the neighboring storage unit is provided with heat. If it reaches a temperature of 85 degrees, it will heat the solar collectors of the next closest unit to 95 degrees. The process is regulated by electronically controlled sensors and valves. The cascade-like system ensures that on sunny days, storage capacity is still available in the afternoon. And when the day's production is finished, 7,000 liters of 65-degree water is available for cleanup. That's enough to lather up the entire assembly line and rinse it off together with all the tools. Until now, the company mainly used gas to heat the cleaning water. The solar thermal system has meanwhile reduced the need for gas by some two-thirds. And since half the cost of solar heating plants is subsidized by the German government, the bakery's investment paid off after just two years. But the sun is useful for more than just the production of layer cakes. The Hustat Galvanic Company in the town of Raden also uses solar thermal technology to improve its operations. A variety of metal parts are galvanized in two rack units and one barrel unit. Along with machine tool makers, Manufacturers of farm machinery get their components coated here to protect them from corrosion. 
In order for the zinc coating to be applied evenly in the galvanizing tanks, the parts first have to be cleaned. This takes place in a special degreasing bath at temperatures between 50 and 60 degrees Celsius. The necessary heat is provided by tube collectors. 220 square meters of them cover the roof of the electroplating facility, providing a maximum heat output of 150 kilowatts. Here, pure water without antifreeze flows through the collectors. Instead of passing through heat exchangers, the water flows through a so-called hydraulic separator directly into the heating units of the degreasing baths. But the collectors deliver more than just heat for the baths. After the bath, the parts have to be dried. They're moved into a special drying chamber supplied with a water-to-air heat exchanger. Hot water from the collectors flows through metal ribs. A ventilator blows air through them. That way, sunshine on the roof provides 70 degree warm air to dry the parts that are to be galvanized. On cloudy days, the oil burner springs into action and provides the necessary heat. But the solar technology still pays off. On one sunny day in March, the oil burner was barely in use. In nine hours of production, we only used 26 liters today instead of 140. That's very good. On a yearly basis, almost one third of the company's needed heat energy now comes from the solar thermal facility on the roof. That saves money. The Schulte Company in the Emsland region of Lower Saxony also knows the value of low-cost energy from the roof. The paint shop provides vehicles of all types, from cars to commercial trucks, with a new protective coating. First, the vehicles are prepared in a large production hall. Then comes the actual painting in a special chamber. To prevent dust particles in the air from disturbing the process, a steady air stream flows from the ceiling. 23,000 cubic meters per hour at a constant temperature of 23 degrees Celsius. Afterwards, workers move the vehicle into the neighboring drying chamber. At the press of a button, a 70-degree stream of air flows down over the vehicle. Both chambers require an enormous amount of heat. 140 square meters of vacuum tube collectors provide part of the needed energy. Over an intelligent charging relay, the heat is separated into two accumulators. One accumulator provides heat for the drying chamber, the other for the painting chamber. Solar energy is stored in two 5,000 liter tanks on two levels. Depending on how brightly the sun is shining, the intelligent charging relay provides heat from the roof to the tank level where the energy is needed most. The heat flows out of the accumulators and down to the corresponding water-to-air heat exchangers. This is where the air for the chambers is heated to the necessary temperatures of 23 degrees Celsius for painting and 70 degrees for drying. For the process to start at the press of a button, the heat must be ready at all times. That is made possible by constantly circulating the water between the accumulators and heat exchangers, even when there's no painting or drying taking place. 
That way, a stream of air with the given temperature is available in the shortest time possible. A thermal wheel or rotary heat exchanger located on the roof ensures that exhaust air exiting the chambers transfers its heat to the incoming air. That saves additional fossil fuel energy. When the sun is not shining, an oil-fired boiler with a 300 kilowatt output provides the necessary process heat. Here's how company management sums up the savings. 32% savings through the solar thermal facility, 20% savings through heat recovery. That's more than 50% and we're very satisfied. Many more companies could enjoy the same satisfaction. More than 20% of the heat energy used by industry measures less than 100 degrees Celsius. That means a large part of this energy could be provided by the sun. To be effective, solar thermal facilities must be adapted to the specific production process. The Federal Ministry for Economic Affairs and Energy offers assistance to users of this solar process heat. That reduces the payoff period of the facilities to just a few years. If companies count more on the sun, they can save large amounts of fossil fuel and money.